welcome back to my channel since i'm waking up quite early from monday to friday during my working days um, my saturday tends to start early as well just because i'm so used to the routine i like to start my day by making some decaf coffee full disclosure i do not drink the actual caffeinated stuff just because my body does not handle it very well but i do love the taste I like to add some cream and some plant-based milk as well as a little bit of coconut sugar. I like to create a cozy environment for myself so I'll head to the couch and sip on my coffee. As I'm doing that, I do like to write down a little quick list for the day just so I know all the things that I have to do. It's also a really good time to spend some quality time with my cat and yes, her name is Marshmallow. Now that it's around 8 o'clock in the morning, I start to make breakfast. Today I decided to make some oatmeal. I'm adding some water, plant-based milk, cinnamon, cocoa powder. Right towards the end, I also like to add a little bit of protein powder. Give it a good mix and then start pouring it into a bowl. It's really fun to add a few toppings onto your oatmeal. Today, I decided to put some peanut butter slice up some bananas and some dark chocolate chips. Other days I could change it around as well by adding some maple syrup, strawberries, blueberries, and some almond butter. I like to have a few toppings on hand. This way I don't really get bored eating my oatmeal on a regular basis. Normally when I'm having my meals, I tend to watch a show. This is my time to relax and it gives me a little bit of downtime. One of the things that I've also been doing is when I am eating, whether that's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I do my best to be mindful and intentional. And that could mean just taking a moment to be grateful and appreciative of the food that I am consuming. That could also mean trying to feel the texture of my food or even the taste of my food by taking a mindful second or two. So now that it's 10 in the morning, I tend to get a little snacky. So today I decided to have two clementines and some cashews on the side. And just like that, it's 12 o'clock and it's lunchtime. Yesterday I made some red lentil coconut curry, so I'm just gonna reheat that and have that for lunch. While that's heating up, I'm gonna toast up my pita bread on the side. With my meals, I try my best to have some vegetables. Today we're gonna have some tomatoes and bell pepper. I really love this red lentil curry. Um, I added some cilantro on top with a squeeze of lemon. Wow. 
One of the things you'll notice is all of my meals are eaten on the couch. That's where I like it. Um, we also don't own a TV right now. We decided to keep it that way. So when we are eating, we'll just use our iPad to watch a show. Now that it's around three o'clock in the afternoon, I love having an afternoon tea time. Uh, today I decided to go with a chocolate spice tea. I highly recommend if you love chocolate in general. With my tea, I decided to snack on the Nature's Bakery Fig Bar. During the week, it can get extremely busy, so over the weekend, when I do have that extra little time to relax and just enjoy the moment, I will do that. It's 6 p.m. now, and I'm starting to prepare my dinner. Today, I decided to have salmon and sweet potato for dinner. I'm just gonna cube them up. Yes, those are very huge cubes, but I did get lazy and cutting sweet potatoes is quite difficult. I'm adding parchment paper to my baking tray so this way it makes the cleanup a lot easier and I don't have to scrape anything off at the end. Time to put some sweet potatoes on the baking tray. Add some salt, pepper, and olive oil. I bake my sweet potatoes at 400 degree Fahrenheit uh, for 40 minutes and just turn them halfway. I also realized I had some mushrooms in my fridge which were about to go bad. I thought this might be the best time to use them and put it in the oven as well. At the same time, I put two pieces of salmon, drizzle some olive oil, salt, and pepper. As you can tell, I love pepper. While the food is cooking in the oven, I decided to make a lemon tahini sauce. I eyeballed all of my ingredients, but essentially I put some pepper, salt, squeeze of lemon, garlic powder, and some water until I found the consistency that I liked. Dinner is now ready and I drizzled some of that tahini lemon dressing over the sweet potatoes and salmon and it was really good. Right about 9 p.m. we decided that we wanted to watch a movie so we decided to make some popcorn. I'm really excited to use this popcorn machine. It's my first time using it. I received it as a Christmas present. I added a tablespoon of olive oil and then about a quarter cup of kernels.
with that wraps a what I eat in a day. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below one of the foods that you like to eat during your day. Thanks for watching.